That's what we're after. G'day, I'm Andy from Coastfish TV, and that's my mate Jake. Well, when it comes to trying to choose knots, there's a thousand choices and it can be really, really frustrating. You can surf the net forever. Well, today I've done all that homework for you and I've spoken to the experts and I reckon we've got the best way of tying a pattern oster rig with a dropper loop. Now, we want to attach the sinker. So all I'm going to do is form a loop and that's really easy. We just fold the line over in half and then loop goes the other way turn it around twice and then put the loop through and pull it tight. Simple as that. Then we attach the sinker and this is a snapper sinker. So the good thing about this kind of loop is you can put your sinker through and if the current changes you can actually adjust your sinker. We'll just trim off that tag end and here comes the exciting part. Now this is a dropper loop. Now we'll go about 300 mil, 300 to 400 mil, up your trace. That's easy. So all you do is just grab your leader, just turn it in half, and then all we're going to do is twist four times. One, two, three, and four grab that loop and put it straight through bring it up with your thumb like that pull it tight done how easy is that that's a dropper loop so you can do that in a few seconds and that's as secure as you'll get now we'll just go another say 300 400 mil up the line do exactly the same thing again so simple grab your line in half like that, secure it each side, and then we're just going to turn it four times. That's easy. Four times, put the loop through, bring it out with your thumb, and then pull it tight, and that's done. So we'll just go further up the line, attach this using a snap swivel. So we'll just do another loop. Do exactly the same thing so it's just like how we tied the snapper sinker to the other end just loop it up all done simple as that we'll just trim off that tag end the last thing we're going to do is put on the hooks and this is the easy bit so simple grab your, uh, your little dropper loops just squeeze the end of that loop on the dropper Straight through, see that loop there, boom. So here it is, the pattern oster rig with the dropper loop and I reckon this is one of the easiest ways you'll find to tie this particular rig. I really appreciate you watching guys and so does this bloke too. So make sure you give it a like, hit the subscribe button right there because we've got plenty more content coming soon that's going to make your fishing life a whole lot easier. We'll see you next time on Coast Fish TV. Thank you.